start with a controversial remark that's coming in from MIM chief Asauddin Owaisi, who's used a jelly cut to struggle to slam unified civil court and make a cause for triple talaq. The AIMIM leader says that the jelly cut to protest are an example of how a uniform civil code cannot be imposed on the people. He calls for a similar agitation by the Muslim community to reject UCC and ensure triple talaq is not scrapped. while he was speaking at a public gathering in Aligarh in Uttar Pradesh with me is Dr. Subramanian Swami, senior leader of the BJP. Asadat al has drawn comparison. He has said that, you know, how Jalika to really happen. Obviously, it was the people's movement. Uh, the fact that there was enough pressure put on the government, that is something which has to be done similarly by, by the Muslims to ensure that the government and the center does not interfere with their rights, with their religion. And in particular, he's speaking about triple talaq and, of course, marriage and divorce rights. <laughs> Well, you see, as far as the Jalika II is concerned, there's no constitutional principle against it. Uh, it was a GO issued by the Congress government in 2011, on which basis the Supreme Court uh, decided to ban it. And once uh, the, uh, the, it was superseded by a uh, subsequent uh, BJP government GO in 2016, which uh, superseded the 2011, and therefore a fresh court case uh, was uh, had arisen because the, uh, the uh, Animal Welfare Board uh, went to the uh, Supreme Court uh, challenging its own government's uh, GO again. So uh, now that's a different matter than triple talaq. Triple talaq is a human rights issue. You can't treat women uh, as some kind of cattle, you see. Uh, even cattle have rights, as has been shown in Jalika too. So, therefore, uh, you can't compare the two. Uh, where a, a fundamental right is violated, where gender equality is violated, it is... You see, yet again, while he was speaking at a public... Let uh, Mr. Prime Minister answer this uh, query of Owaisi or mine or anybody else, that how many Muslims are featuring in their Uttar Pradesh uh, um, assembly election uh, candidates list. Uh, it shows that uh, not on the ground of religion, but on the ground of uh, economically backward people, I would appeal to the Honorable Prime Minister that please ensure that this particular section of, India, of Indian democracy, Indian society is not left behind and uh, contrary to what claim you have made, please try to honor that. I feel that we have many other priorities like employment, like food, like health, and several education, etc. And uh, we should not uh, waste our time on issues like uniform civil court. According to me, uh, the time is not ripe even for a debate in, uh, uh, for this uniform civil court. We have many more important things to be attended to. There is not an instance of Muslim men being wanting to really perpetuate this. Mm -hmm. It would be very unfair of him. There are only a few uh, uh, voices from within the community. People who try to speak, who claim they speak for the community, are trying to really perpetuate gender inequality, whereas, whereas Muslim women are seeking justice. So it's a question of addressing and administering justice for his own community. He's trying to really deprive uh, women, Muslim women of that. Right, we're shifting a focus once again to Jodhpur, where actor Salman Khan has deposed in front of the court today. Some reactions that are coming in, let's take a listen in.